Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand. The beard is dead. Or is it? I'm actually referring to an article that was written in the Wall Street Journal back in April of 2016 by Jacob Gallagher. And uh, he was suggesting that uh, the beard was gone. Before we get into that, I wanna go back and just talk a little bit about history. There was a point in time uh, where fashionable men, um, I'm gonna say the 90s and uh, around 2000, uh, for almost a decade, uh, with the exception of maybe some mustaches being worn in the early 80s, men have been, uh, as a big group of people, uh, smooth, uh, faced and then uh, how how do trends start and most trends start by um, like fashion designers or by um, you know trend setters whoever these people are magazine editors um, uh, film editors uh, filmmakers they see something in the street that looks different and so what did they see they see a guy with a beard and then so these guys decide to put um, beards on models, encouraging models to grow uh, beards. And then you see these guys popping up um, in fashion shows, you see them in editorials, you see them in the magazines where there hadn't been beards before. And then all of a sudden, the guys who read these magazines, who um, uh, watch these videos, and we're, we're talking like 2006, 2008, those guys start uh, wearing beards and uh, they start uh, influencing the people that they're in, in their circles. So it trickles down the lane, you know, and then all of a sudden you have a lot of guys starting to wear beards and it's tying into what is considered hipster culture, whatever uh, that is. Um, but uh, you see a lot of um, men all of a sudden who are sporting beards, where previously, just five years before, guys didn't have beards. And so, you know, those fashionable guys and the guys in urban areas are wearing beards and then all of a sudden you're wearing a beard and then all of a sudden, your dad's wearing a beard, and then all of a sudden, Uncle Jack is wearing a beard. And you look at it and you think, wow, great, everyone has a beard. But fashion editors and people like that are looking at it and saying, my Uncle Jack has a beard, this is not cool, I'm shaving my beard off. So you have a counter um, reaction to what was once considered very fashionable suddenly becomes not fashionable. So I wrote down, you know, there were a couple of, um, you know, key people in fashion uh, who became, you know, premier beard models. You have people like uh, Ricky Hall, you have uh, Chris uh, Millington, you have our own Carlos uh, Costa, who have had beards, you know, Carlos for seven years, right at the time when Instagram is getting hot. You know, going back about six years ago, Instagram is taking off, and all of a sudden you see these guys who have beards for the first time, young guys with beards. You know, where I come from in uh, rural Pennsylvania, um, guys always had beards. This was nothing new. It never came in, never went out. Everyone grows a hunting beard, basically to keep their faces warm, warm and would keep the beard past Christmas into January, February, and then shave the beard in the spring. Very common where I come from. So it was like, when I, see, when I started seeing guys with beards, I'm like, what are we in Western Pennsylvania? Um, so it just struck me initially as kind of odd that guys would be having beards since I grew up in a culture where guys had beards. So what has happened in the past three years? Is the beard really dead? And if you look at some of the statistics related to shaving, um, it would suggest otherwise. Only 45% of people in America shave daily. That doesn't mean you have a full beard in two days if you're shaving other days. So the statistics aren't you know, fully unwrapped there, but there was a point where 90, 95% of the people were shaving daily. More guys are feeling comfortable going with scruff, going with heavy scruff, going with a light beard, or going full throttle beard. So is that trend of having a beard dead? Statistics are suggesting that it's not. And I, you know, I look around all the time, you know, since I, you know, work for Beard Brand here and making these videos, I'm always looking for new content and I'm always looking for new ideas. And I am often surprised when I look around, I'm at the gym and there are 10 guys there, nine of them have a beard. In doing some research for this, I found a very interesting paper and I'm going to talk about this in a, in a totally different video um, where, um, 
a, a particular professor analyzing da data on a particular YouTube channel. Who might that be? Anyhow, suggesting that beard culture is not only alive, it's doing well, and it's actually quite different than what people think beard culture really is. I'll talk about that in an upcoming video. So there's gonna always be a group of guys who are going to be wearing beards, and I think it's gonna be heavier um, than you know what we've seen in the past. The last time the facial hair was massively popular, and I'm not talking about in the 70s where beard, uh, beards were very uh, popular. They weren't popular on everyone. You know, my father didn't grow a beard. You know, none of my uncles grew a beard. The only people who were growing year, uh, beards were young guys, guys who could be associated with some kind of counterculture. Um, you have to go back to pre-1913, uh, 1915, um, in not only America, but in the world to see a uh, time when beards were, um, or facial hair, was the, a massive trend. Um, are beards today as prevalent as they were uh, prior to uh, 1913? I actually think they're approaching that. Will it trend out? Yes, things do go in those circles like I talked about. Um, but um, I think you're safe uh, right now and uh, with your beard if you want to be in the know or to look cool or what all of those fashion magazines say is cool. Um, but I want to encourage you all, grow your beard or wear your beard with confidence because you want to have a beard. Not because you think it's cool, not because you think um, that's what everyone else is doing, or not because, um, you know, it's, it's popular in general. I think guys should wear beards because I like having a beard. I like how I look with a beard. I like, um, you know, reactions I get with a beard. Um, the one that you want to be on trend is with you. You want to make sure that you're comfortable with that beard and that you're wearing it, your facial hair to the best of its ability. And that's what we're here for in Beard Brand. We want to encourage you to do that. We want to encourage you to wear your facial hair, whether it be just a mustache, whether you're just rocking shadow, whether you're rocking a full yeard, um, wear your beard with confidence. And uh, if you choose to shave off the beard, great and um, maybe you'll set that next trend. So like I said, I'll be back uh, to talk um, in uh, next installment about the article that I saw analyzing um, the support that one can get on a particular YouTube channel um, and uh, to help you with your beard. Um, until we meet again, beard on. Thanks for watching this video. Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.